What's up, farming family? How y'all doing today? Today, we're reacting to the Gearbox CX14H. We're going to go over the specs. We're going to go over every indi individual aspect of the pickleball game, what I think, and how I think the paddle, you know, affects that aspect of the game, like dinking, driving, serving, drops. Then I'm going to talk about the pros and cons, whether it's a singles or a doubles paddle, and what how I feel about the paddle in general. But let's get into the specs. I'm going to pull them up and have them right here so you all can look at them with me. Let's check this out. First off, it is um, the paddle face is 3K woven carbon fiber, which means they take carbon fibers and they weave them together, you know, up, down, across from each other. And it makes a really tight surface for the ball, you know, to get hit off of. And it's a very soft surface, though. It's durable and soft, which is which is what I really, really like in a paddle. I don't want a ball bouncing off, just, you know, barely hitting it and just launching like the power air. Oh, I know I'm going to get some hate in the comment section for that one. But it's T700 carbon fiber, which a lot of these paddles are. Because if you go, I forgot what the difference is between the other ones, but I was looking up some stuff on Google and it's already slipped my mind. <laughs> I need to have the stuff pulled up so I can use it as, you know, information. But I don't like using other other people's stuff without, you know, their consent. But since I'm doing a review for this, I figure Gearbox probably won't care for me using their website for their um, paddle information. Core constructions, padded and carbon fiber chambers. Uh, it weighs 8 ounces, which Gearbox paddles are generally pretty, you know, pretty close. Maybe off 0.1, but they are usually about right where they tell you they're going to be. Due to the it's carbon fiber and it's unibody, so it's all they're all made basically the same. Handle circumference is three and five eighths or three and fifth, um, fifteen sixteenth grips, depending on which one you choose. Handle length is five and five eighths. The paddle length is fifteen and five eighths. The paddle width is eight inches, and the thickness is fourteen. If you get fourteen millimeter paddles, usually you expect a lot of pop. But when it comes to the carbon fiber paddles from Gearbox, you don't get that. There's like no pop at all. <laughs> no pop. Uh, the warranty is one year, which that is pretty good. There's companies that do three months and six months. So one year is a drastic difference compared to a lot of the competitors. We're going to talk about the spin of this paddle. I feel like the spin of this paddle is pretty good. But I feel like you're only able to access that spin or use the spin properly if you're hitting the ball somewhat hard. If you're just doing like a regular slice or like a dink and you're putting top spin on it, it's not going to put a crazy amount of spin on it because I feel like the hyperbot technology isn't biting into the ball unless you're putting a lot of force into it. Or that's, that's what I've noticed. The serves. Okay, when it comes to the serves, the serves are what struggles the most with this paddle. You aren't going to have a power serve. You might have a decent amount of spin, but the serve isn't going to be a threat to your opponent. Your opponent's going to you know, see the serves coming. They're going to be able to just hit it back every time, pretty much. This isn't going to be a paddle you get for your serves at all. <laughs> like, like at all. <laughs> return of serves. Okay, in order for you to do your return of serves properly, you got to put a decent amount of arm into this. The um, paddle sweet spot is really, really big, but even though it's a sweet spot, it doesn't have any pop whatsoever. So the return of serves, you have to rear back a decent amount in order to get a pretty decent speed, you know, return of serve with a decent amount of depth. Obviously, you can just chip it over right over the, you know, the net and get a return of serve, but you're wanting depth. So in order to do that, you have to put a lot of arm into it compared to the Vatic Pro or the Solar Air, or the Black Ace, or the Ben Johns Hyperion Paddle. The drops? Okay, this is where I love this paddle. Okay, when it comes to drops, it feels like everything's just just smooth, crisply. You know, everything. it feels like everything is going over the net. And it feels like it's going perfectly, dropping perfectly over the net to where it's going to be at their feet, to where they're going to have to decide whether they're going to try to lean in and try to flick it which a lot of times it's going to go into the net, or they take a step back and let it bounce. And this is the only paddle that I have completely felt that way. Every time I do a drop, it just feels like it's going to be a good drop. Even when it's not a good drop, it still feels good. The drives. 
This is another thing that struggles with this paddle. If you're going to do a drive, you better be pretty close to the person. Because if you're, you know, very far back and you do a drive, it is going to be coming at such a slow speed that they are going to be able to just drive it back, dink it back, or do just a little wimpy reset. Like it does not take much to stop a drive from a Gearbox CX-14H, like at all. Dinks. Just like the drops. The dinking, it has so such a good feel and so much control you can maneuver it around easy because it's not super head heavy you're not gonna hit the ball and launch one because you hit it in one part of the paddle and not the other part of the paddle it's going to have a pretty crisp feel all the way through and you're going to have to put in the power to get the ball over the net so every time you hit it you're generally going to know if it's going to be a decent hit or not well, it's like that with every shot, in, you know, in general. But with the gearbox, though, it just feels a lot smoother. Resets. Okay, this is another super positive of this paddle. People will go to spike it down super hard, or they'll go to, you know, um, do a flick volley and try to launch it at you, or they'll try to jam you up. And this paddle is just easy. You just, you know, you put it out. You don't even have to swing you can just put it out and do like that and the ball is literally going to go right back over the net right near the kitchen line it is perfect and a lot of the times the opponent is in attack mode especially if you're playing people that aren't pros they're going to see the ball bounce and they're going to be like oh well, i just drove that last one or you know i just spiked that last ball i'm in attack mode i'm going to hit this one hard too and then right into the net it goes because more than likely off the gearbox it's not going to put up enough pop for the ball to bounce high enough so it's not even an attackable ball. It's just they're in that mindset, and it messes with them. Singles or doubles? This is not even a, like, this shouldn't even be a question. This is a doubles paddle. If you play this on singles, you are going to struggle. You're not going to have any power on your hits. They're going to be able to run to both sides to get the ball, and then they're going to be using a power paddle, so then you're not going to be able to get to theirs. You're just going to lose. But it's perfect control for doubles, though, like straight up. Pros and cons. Your serve's not not much of a weapon. Your return is serve. You have to put a decent amount of arm into it, which I don't really consider that much of a con. The drives and the serve are mostly the only gripes I have with this paddle. But I'll I'm willing to give up the attacking serve and some drives. If I can do some good drops, if I can dink, the, you know, dink good, and if I have really, really good control, which is what this paddle has. I just went from cons and straight talking about the pros all in one thing. <laughs> oh, man. But overall, though, this paddle is amazing. I have been using it like crazy. I got the Pro Kinex Black Ace, played it for like six, six days, maybe seven days. Didn't really like the poppiness of it. It was hard to reset and stuff, and it was uncontrollable to me. And I went back to this. It's my tried and true. This is what I can I know I can always rely on. I definitely recommend you all getting one and trying it out. The people I've let try this at the um, rec centers I play at have loved it. They like the feel of it. Most people don't want a poppy paddle when it comes to doubles. You might have a banger occasionally that does. But most people will need the control, and this paddle offers all the control you will ever need. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed this paddle. <laughs> oh man, for real though, you can ask everybody that I play with. I am constantly bragging about this paddle and how good it is. I'm always telling people to get this CX-14. I haven't tried the other one. So someone leave in the comment section what you think of the other one, please, so I can know. But until next time, stay safe. Have a good day. Like and subscribe, it helps the channel. I'm going to do more of these in the future. Stay hydrated, y'all. Peace.